Hope all are fine. In the previous session, we learned pH scale. Now a question arises: Is the pH value has any significant role in our daily life? Is it important in chemicals only? No. This pH value and pH scale has a very good role in our life also. Not only in human beings' life, it affects the animals and plant kingdom also. Let us move to the importance of pH value in our day-to-day -day life. All the animals and plants are dependent on pH value because all the living things live under a certain range of pH. For example, our human body. Our body works within a pH range of 7 to 7.8. If there is any change from this narrow range, the body will be completely damaged. That is the problem. So we can say all the human beings, all the plants and animals, everything is affected by the change of pH value. In digestion, then uh, tooth cavity, all these are examples for change in pH in our body. Let us uh, take this one by one. So, importance of pH in our daily life. Let us take the first example, indigestion. What is indigestion? When does it occur? Sometimes by overeating. There is no proper digestion. Actually, this digestion is a complicated process. It starts from our mouth itself. Our mouth also has a pH value. When this food reaches our stomach, that may be mixed with some harmful microorganisms. We, we know that our stomach produces hydrochloric acid. It is present along with the gastric juices. This hydrochloric acid kills the small microorganisms which comes along with the food particles. Suppose, if there is no proper digestion, what happens to this hydrochloric acid? It accumulates in the stomach. Due to the excess acid present in the stomach, we feel pain and irritation. What you are doing in such conditions? To get rid of this pain and uh, uh, irritation, we usually take some medicines which contain certain bases. We, you know the names of certain medicines. In some cases, some of the people are using antacids like gelusin. Some of the people use um, milk of magnesia. Then some others use baking soda solution. What is common in all these materials? Exactly, all these contain some basic materials. Milk of magnesia contains magnesium hydroxide which is a mild base. As we know sodium bicarbonate is a mild base. And what happens when we take these medicines? When these medicines come in contact with the excess acid present in the stomach, it neutralizes. This in indigestion, neutralization reaction takes place. Who neutralizes? The medicines which contain bases. These bases neutralize the excess acid present in our stomach and thus we get relief. Similarly, tooth decay starts. If the pH value is below 5.5 in our mouth, which is the hardest part of the, of the tooth? Calcium phosphate. Cal actually, this calcium phosphate is not soluble in water. But if the acidity of the mouth is below 5.3, that can damage our calcium phosphate. That starts to dissolve. When we eat, some food particle may remain in our mouth. If it is not cleaned properly, microbes work on it. They produce some acid materials. As a result, the acidity of the mouth increases. When this acidity increases, slowly this calcium phosphate dissolves and tooth cavity occurs. How can we prevent this uh, problem? First of all, we must wash our mouth with plenty of water. That is the first remedy. We have to take care of our tooth. Then we can use a pH balanced diet. Another important point is we can use good quality uh, toothpaste. This toothpaste also have basic content. In the beginning we discussed that in our daily life we are using many acidic and basic materials. 
such a basic material is toothpaste toothpaste also have have basic substances here also neutralization takes place so tooth decay is another important problem that is caused by the changing ph not only human beings animals and plants also are affected by the changing ph for example aquatic animals and plants aquatic animals and plants how they are affected by the change in ph we know that nowadays not nowadays nowadays our atmosphere is very clean because of the uh, less number of vehicles in our streets but before that due to high amount of pollutants in the atmosphere our atmosphere produces certain acids during rain rainy season these acids come along with the rain water and they flow directly to the rivers and ponds as a result the ph value of the river decreases ph value decreases means the acidity increases this acid in this acidic condition the aquatic plants and animals cannot survive they need they also live in a particular ph range 5.6 if the ph value increases or decreases from 5.6 the entire metabolism changes so when this acid rain comes the ph of the uh, river water decreases and acidity increases in such acidic condition plants and animals cannot survive and they die so animals and plants also are affected by the change in ph this plants have plants are growing in soil the soil also is affected by the ph change what will be the moderate ph value of the soil always there is a moderate ph range soil also and plants also need a particular ph value for their proper growth if the ph value changes or increases or decreases from this definite value plants cannot grow the soil becomes unfertile so soil also is affected by the ph values in some of the areas the ph value of the soil is very very less that is very very acidic if the soil is too much acidic we can use basic fertilizers usually we use quick lime calcium oxide calcium carbonate calcium hydroxide etc they all have a basic property when we apply these basic materials in soil these will react with the acid present in the soil and there is a neutralization reaction the soil becomes fertile and if the soil is too much basic too much basic means the ph value is above 7 we can determine the ph value of soil by testing different uh, tests are available in agricultural offices and we can send our soil to the labs if basic we can apply some acidic manures usually organic materials can be used otherwise gypsum can be used gypsum has a slight acidic property so if the soil is too much acidic and too much basic we can apply different types of fertilizers depending on the ph of the soil so it is very important to note that ph is not only affected in human beings it affects the plants and animals also not only living things non living things also were affected by the change in ph write the exercise questions sweet tooth may lead to tooth decay explain why what is the role of toothpaste in preventing cavities and you have one more question that is given in your textbook activity 2.13 page number 28 okay thank you